During meiosis, cells deliberately form numerous DNA double-stranded breaks in order to initiate homologous recombination. Homologous recombination exchanges genetic information between homologous chromosomes and promote accurate chromosome segregation. Recombination must be complete before the first nuclear division in order to allow the homologs to properly align and then separate. In the absence of recombination, chromosomes often fail to align properly for the first meiotic division and this results in chromosome loss. The homologous recombination events that occur during meiosis are called meiotic recombination. The process of homologous recombination during meiosis begins when the SPO11 gene encodes a protein that introduces double-stranded breaks in chromosomal DNA. The SPO11 protein cuts the DNA at many chromosomal location at a very specific time during meiosis but with not much sequence selectivity. After SPO11 introduces the double-stranded breaks, a 5' to 3' resection occurs by the MRX complex. The complex also removes the SPO11 protein. The complex is composed of proteins RAD50, MRE11, and SRS2. The MRX-dependent 5' to 3' resection generates long SSDNA tails with 3' ends that are often 1 kb or longer. Then the strain exchange proteins DMC1 and RAD51 come in and assemble on the single-stranded DNA tails. RAD51 and DMC1 function to create a process called strain invasion. The two proteins interact with the single-stranded DNA to form specialized filaments of nucleic acid and proteins that are adapted for facilitating the recombination process. The nucleoprotein filament then begins searching for DNA sequences similar to that of the 3 overhang. After finding such a sequence, the single-stranded nucleoprotein filament invades a similar or identical recipient DNA duplex. A displacement loop is formed during strand invasion between the invading 3 overhang strand and the homologous chromosome. After strain invasion, a DNA polymerase extends the end of the invading 3' strand by synthesizing new DNA. This changes the displacement loop to a cross-shaped structure known as the holiday junction. In order for recombination to be over, the holiday junction must first be resolved and two recombining DNA molecules should be separated. The holiday junction is resolved when the protein GEN1 cuts the DNA substrates. The GEN1 protein is specific to homologous recombination in eukaryotes. Depending on the way the GEN1 protein cuts the substrates, the homologous recombination process can either end in crossover or non-crossover. In this case, the way the GEN1 protein cuts the substrates results in crossover. Thank you for watching this video. Hope it helps understand homologous recombination in eukaryotes during meiosis. Any question, please post them below.